okay, let's take a look at the LaSalle's compact ripple tank. Now, unlike many of the ripple tanks, there are no extra legs to add, there's no uh, external dipper, it's all self-contained in the one unit. All you've got to do is add water. So, let's do that. Now the water's added just from a small jug or something like that, you can, uh, you can easily alter the level of the water by using a syringe or a dropper. And once you've done that, simply take one of the dippers, connect it to the built-in vibration generator, close the lid, and you're ready to go. Now, in use, the frequency can be varied from quite a low frequency, giving you quite long wavelengths, all the way up to very, very high frequencies. Now, once you've decided how you want to run it, and of course you've taken the usual precautions for stroboscopic uh, effects, you can switch the LED to a sync mode, which will automatically sync the frequency of the LED with the wave frequency, thus giving you stationary images on the front of the screen. Or alternatively, you can switch it to free mode, and that gives you separate control over the LED frequency. Now, by closely matching the LED frequency with the wave frequency, you can get the waves to move essentially in slow motion and give a great effect to the kit. Now, the Ripple Tank uh, ships complete with a set of shapes for uh, refraction work, um, some reflectors for doing reflection and diffraction, and three different dippers. You've got a single point dipper for investigating circular waves, a double point dipper for interference, and a plane dipper for diffraction, refraction, etc. So let's have a look at some of the uh, some of the features. Okay, the LaSalle's Compact Ripple Tank. Easy to set up, easy to pack away. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.